610 92.1 WROI, WROI FM.com. Streaming audio live, RTC Channel 5. And streaming audio and soon to be video on RTC Channel 4. Abby's in the studio. Hello. There she is. That's, so that's good. Taping our program today because we have chamber chat coming up with Amy Rowe from the e Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Good, yourself? Doing good. Trying good. to stay warm. Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. Board meeting yesterday, right? We did, we did. Okay. So, you know, we had the extra board meeting in December just because we had to uh, get everything settled. Okay. Lots and lots to work on. And so, especially with that Department of Labor overtime, which uh, that got put on hold so we're good so we actually passed a budget today or Excellent. yesterday so that's Excellent. good we're excited um we we have a lot of exciting things to look forward to we have two nor two new board members mm -hmm. elizabeth houseman okay top industries i don't know if you know her but she is just a sassy little thing and she moved back here to help her father run the company and she's the marketing person there and has worked with multiple boards Excellent. so she's neat uh and then we have uh, jim mulligan so he is representative for flirt okay Boutique. So he's going to be sitting on the board, and uh, I hear he has a lot of wisdom and uh, years of experience to provide. So we're pretty excited. And then Matt Strader uh, got reelected, which Matt is my uh, chili cook-off extraordinaire. <laughs> so I have to have Matt. So we're excited go, about that. Go-to guy. The go-to, yep. He's out there always and forever uh, putting lines and setting people up. So uh, that was, I think, a good lineup. 2017 president will be... 27 president president will be uh, Stacy Wilson. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we got the vice president is Chris Wood, and then Greta Lynch. So we have quite a good setup. I just had a NIPSCO representative who um, they're a platinum sponsor. Uh, the uh, chamber director from Kokomo, okay. Indiana, a former. She just joined NIPSCO, so she is going to be sitting on the board also. And uh, she came and uh, met with m myself and my new assistant, and really helped us to look at some things and tools that we have that we may be not using as, as well as we could. So, okay. yeah, and then we're changing the date of our, our board meeting to Thursday. I told you that last time we were mm -hmm. here. Uh, that's to accommodate to put the superintendents. Obviously, education is a really sure. important part sure. of, uh, of economic development, and uh, we had some partnerships with them with uh, doing our legislative uh, meetings with uh, Glenda Ritz and the legislators, so we added them to the mix. But because of that, they have a meeting on Wednesday, so we moved it to the third Thursday of the month. So you might have told us this last month, but your new assistant is Beth Miller, okay. and not the Beth Miller that works at the library. Okay. <laughs> poor Beth Miller. Poor Beth Miller that works at the library keeps getting multiple <laughs> calls that she's not working at the library anymore. So I feel sorry for her. But uh, this is an additional Beth Miller. Okay. Uh, she's from Burkett, and she used to work as a UPS uh, at the UPS store in uh, Warsaw as a manager there. Very good. And she lives in Rochester, and her husband actually went through the uh, next level business class, so she has some expertise in some of the programs that our office offers. Okay. So we're excited for that. We're uh, moving, hopefully for full time. We've been working on a lot of setup for the last part of the year, working on invoicing going out in January instead of at the end of the year, to be able to do the um, the fiscal year mm -hmm. because. Putting invoices in, uh, well, according to my new accountant, and November and December is a nightmare for doing taxes. So we're moving it to January to make it easier for everybody and okay. for ourselves. And then at the same time, we will bring on Beth full time. All right. And then my life will be so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> I am looking forward to that moment. So to be able to have full time staff and to be able to work on some of these projects that we want to do. Do you have other notes from the chamber? Being I do. I do. Um, sure. We are also working very diligently on the legislative breakfast getting all those dates. I've got the email out to the legislators looking at those dates. One in January, February, and March, most likely at the end of the month. Okay. And then uh, the gala. I'm planning, or we're attempting to plan, okay. um, an, another amazing gala. No, no date in mind for that yet? Uh, probably in April, Okay. around that same time. Um, you know, last year we had such a great team and did such a great job. I'm hoping we can follow up with an additional great gala for our uh, community. We're looking at Akron. Okay. Obviously we have to look at cost, and, uh, but we want to make sure that when we do the events that we continue to put them in different towns. Yeah, for last event. year, wasn't it? It was. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those that we weren't 100% sure how that would turn out. We had never done that before. But the team did a great job and we showed up and I myself was surprised. <laughs> We put the details all together and I showed up and everything was in place and I looked at it and I thought, wow, this is better sure. than we even anticipated. So 
we're looking at Akron. We actually added for legislative breakfast location Kiwana. Okay. So we're going to host that at the uh, Kiwana Library because uh, Charlie Rude is he's great. He's okay. a hard worker, Very and good. we want to make sure we represent there. So we've got all that. A lot of what we're doing with the chamber right now is not the fun, you know, stuff. It's all the setup, but it's important to sure. set us up for success. Sure. We're all we had our meeting like we said yesterday, and everybody's really excited to be able to hopefully at the end of 2017 look back and accomplish a million and a half things. So um, what is probably the most exciting for myself is the RVP and uh, tourism right now. Okay. We've got um, those two organizations that are getting ready to launch. Uh, the Rochester Downtown Partnership, like you said, had the Santa event. That was successful. Everyone, just the look on the kiddos' faces <laughs> when they saw those reindeer. Makes it all worthwhile. That was all worthwhile. Makes it all worthwhile. A lot of work to be done, you know, a lot of details to iron out, but those kids, the faces, the, folks, the Facebook posts, that was the best. I felt like excellent. that was well worth it. They did an excellent job on that. Um, also doing the final plans for the uh, strategic planning session, the budget, the office set up so we can hand off that organization to do great things in January. Okay. And then uh, Sarah Reese will be the one that's going to be doing that. Um, she's going to start actually giving the uh, updates to the city council and to the county council. She's doing a wonderful job with that. She is my right hand woman. Right. She is just without her we could not do that. So I'm so grateful for her and all her hard work. So Excellent. I know she wants to talk to you and Good. So you have the partnership with WRI and all the sure. other media to be able to start getting the story out there now that they can. Right. So, exactly. But lots of good work. I'm excited about that. We feel like we've it's been only a year. A lot of groundwork is done, but now we get to uh, enjoy the fruits of our labor. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Rose, Executive Director, Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. Take us back through 2016. Good year for the chamber. It was. It was a hard year. That you know, we were looking at things um, like I said yesterday, and just thinking about what we accomplished. And I said this to somebody this morning. I was meeting with a gentleman about tourism, and every day it felt like I got nothing accomplished. But then when you look at the end of the year and you think about the actual tasks and even just movements that were accomplished, mm -hmm. it's quite fascinating. I have no idea how it all worked. I really don't. Uh, because like I said, every day you're just, you know, you feel like you're chasing your tail, but at the end of the year you look back and you think, we fully set up uh, and moved for a better accounting system with the chamber. We onloaded a, or onboarded a new chamber um, software to provide value for our members starting in 2017. Uh, we had successful events, great board members, we brought new board members on. Uh, we looked at the organization of the Rochester Downtown Partnership and sure. we took it from a fledgling uh, organization and built that organization up and put structure. We say we put the platform down, well we put the fire out first and then we put the platform down and we started building the structure and now we're going to launch that into a fully functioning organization and that uh, is probably my favorite accomplishment because that organization is a great organization that's going to provide value to one of the places that we love is downtown Rochester. Sure. And to be able to do that has been really a privilege. That was a lot of hard work, a lot of strategic planning, a lot of conversations, finding the right people to put in the right places on the bus, like they say, um, to make sure that each position had a, um, a leader that would be able to take it to where it needed to be, um, and having folks to sacrifice for it, like Sarah. Sure. Um, and some of the other leads that were out there that did some hard work. So, and then with the tourism, that's the last thing. I. You know, the Rochester Downtown Partnership t took so much time, and so tourism had to go on a um, kind of a back shelf. But now that Sarah's doing all this and we've got okay. some of the chamber stuff, we've really gotten to kick up our work with the tourism. Uh, we, myself and Chelsea Jameson, so Chelsea Jameson is the current president, she and I have been researching other tourism um, uh, convention bureau uh, organizations and looking at how other folks do stuff to make sure it makes sense. And we came up with a uh, tourism ordinance that will reestablish the ordinance uh, for tourism. What we did not realize is that, so we realized that there was the uh, innkeeper's tax that was done in 2000. Judy Reed, myself, Brian Lewis, all of it, we have been searching high and low to see if there was actually an ordinance. I talked to Allison Heidi, all these other folks who had been part of it forever. There was nothing that established the structure of the, or of okay. the organization. So 
we are proposing to the uh, county commissioners on Monday uh, an ordinance that will establish an actual structure. So you've got the platform and now you're building the uh, the frame out. Fulton County Tourism then? Fulton County Tourism. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we're looking at it, instead of it being just individuals that uh, somebody appoints, it'll actually be appointed by sector. Okay. And so you'll have somebody from arts and history, somebody from uh, regional, uh, recreational, uh, regional business, and so looking at the experts in tourism being the people that are actually on the Tourism Commission, which makes the most sense. Sure. And we kind of stole that model from Marshall County, which Corey's fine with that. But they do that and it's successful. Uh, so we felt like that was the best model that we found. Um, and then we're rolling out a new logo. And uh, so the tourism ordinance, the new grant application, and the new logo will be rolled out starting on January 1st. Okay pending everything goes well sure. at the meeting on Monday. Okay. Um, and then we also are working on a website. This morning at 8 o'clock I was sitting there having okay. to fine tune the website. And, and it, you, you look back over the year and, and from the gala to the Leadership Academy to the Chili Cook-Off to Santa coming to town, the things that the Chamber is known for on a yearly basis still continue and still do very well and a lot of people really appreciate that. Well, thank you. It's been a blessing. It's hard work, you know, like I said, it sure. really is hard work. Sure. But the thing I think, Tom, that's the most important in all of this is you have to recognize the value of a team. And I think that if you don't have a good team, if you can't trust the other team members, if you don't have folks who literally volunteer their time, a lot of these folks don't get paid to do what they right. do but they are willing, able, and desire to support and they come alongside and it really is what makes it happen. I think about that all the time and I wish there was a million things I could do to say thank you to them, but if they didn't do, if Sarah didn't do what she did, if Chelsea didn't do, Matt Strader, all these folks, all my board members, my sponsors, everybody, if they didn't have the understanding that they're a vital part of that team, each person has sure. a unique niche and if they play it well, and we all move in the same direction, we get a lot of stuff done. And I think that this past year is a true, a really a true testimony to that. Maybe somebody listening to us, somebody watching us right now who wants to volunteer maybe. Uh, they've got a few hours they want to volunteer. They want to, uh, they decide helping the chamber would be the thing to do. How, do, how can they go about that? When anybody asks, I say just send me an email um, because generally a lot of folks will reach out at chamber at rtcol.com okay. and if I feel like, because we have our interns, we have other folks, sure. but we have a lot of worthy organizations that need volunteers and so what I try to do as the chamber director is to understand what the needs are and if I feel like my organization, maybe it's not the right fit, but their skill set will fit with the Rochester Downtown Partnership. Exactly. I will pass that along. And it's easier to have one contact instead of having a million. Um, or the uh, Times Theater group. Sure. So, but we would love to have as many volunteers. If we have more volunteers, we have great volunteers right now, but the more volunteers, many hands make light work, right? Exactly. That's what they sure. say. Sure. It's really true. So. As we wrap this up today, uh, I always like to ask, why chamber membership? Why chamber membership? You know, and we talked about this again. I was. Uh, telling my assistant about this, one of my main goals for 2017, I was telling uh, Stacy this too, is to help people to understand what a chamber membership is, and it's a tool. I always say, if you buy a hammer, you don't expect the hammer to pick itself up, you know, <laughs> by itself to use it. Sure. Um, you know, we offer a great tool. My job with that tool is to make sure that that tool is sharp enough, that it makes sense, it's relevant, and that it works. Um, and so that's where I get to listen to my okay. chamber members, but it's a great tool. Okay, so when your dues notice comes in first of the year, pay, pay, pay close attention to it, right? Yes, because there's <laughs> lots of information. We'll be propagating information on there, sharing, trying to communicate. Joe Koch uh, had some great advice about making sure that we communicate the specific unique benefits better than we currently do, okay. and I think that's great. So, okay. got great benefits. Chamber hours? Chamber hours. We are there Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock to 5 p.m. Okay. Yeah, so. I mean, you'll be close for some of the holidays and things like we that. We will. Right. Yeah, we will. So um, I believe it's uh, the, you know, I can't remember. 26th. 26th. Yeah, 23rd and 26th. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not even thinking about that at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much to get done, right? And we've so. pretty well covered it. I believe so. Amy Rowe, thanks very much. I appreciate your keep time. Up, uh, keep up the good work in 2017. Okay? We're going to keep working. All right.